Hello viewers, this is IT System Admin, a complete troubleshooting solution for you. Today in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to install Kali Linux in VirtualBox. It's important issue, so don't forget to watch full video. First of all, I need to download Kali Linux. So, open your browser. In search box, type download. Kali Linux. Hit enter. This is kali.org link. Okay, open this link. Click on download and click Kali Linux. Now scroll down. Kali Linux 64 bit installer. Click on here. Look, Kali Linux ISO image is downloading right now. The ISO image size is 4 GB. It will take some time. Look, download is completed. Okay. Click on show in folder. Look, this is Kali Linux ISO file. I am going to cut it from download folder and Press to another folder. Now open Oracle virtual box. Yes, moving finished. In virtual box, click on new. I am going to create a new virtual machine and you have to mention here the name of your virtual machine. I am giving the name is Kali Linux. And the machine folder location, I am going to change it. Because if you keep your virtual machine in your local drive C, it will make your computer slow down. That's why I am going to keep the virtual machine to another folder. Look, here VM is a folder in D drive. Okay, I am selecting it. Now, the type is, of course, Linux and version look Kali Linux is not showing here that's why we will use the version Debian Debian 64 bit ok click on next now the memory Okay, the recommended memory size is 1024 MB, that means 1 GB. Okay, and uh, by default, it selected is 1 GB. 1 GB is good enough for Kali Linux. Okay, click on next. The recommended size of hard disk is 8 GB and create virtual hard disk now. Okay, create now. VDI virtual box disk image okay uh, by default it is selected we can select it no problem next dynamically allocated uh, you may know that dynamically allocated means if you need to expand your disk size it will dynamically expand okay now click next 
and here the disk size okay by default 8 GB is selected I am going to increase the disk size okay to I want to take 20 GB okay and now click on create and the Kali Linux this is created okay now Kali Linux is selected and click on setting in general uh, you need not to change anything just advanced snapshot location description also basic nothing to change here okay now go to system and boot order floppy optical hard disk network okay no need to network and this is the base memory okay no problem now go to processor by default one cpu is selected i have four cpu okay if you want you can increase cpu from here okay now the cpu number i am using two cpu here okay and acceleration nothing to do here now go to display nothing to change here storage the controller ide click on empty disk okay now we have to select our operating system iso here okay click on this disk to the disk file click on D drive and this is Kali Linux installation ISO okay now Kali Linux ISO is selected now in network by default a network adapter is enabled that is attached to NAT that means yeah, from this network adapter you will use internet okay click on ok now I can start my Kali Linux booting. Click on start here and it will start booting. Select start up disk. Okay, click on start. You will find many options. If you want to install only command mode, you can select this but i want to install graphical user interface also so i have to select graphical install and then hit enter okay now the language english by default is selected okay no problem click on continue and the location you can select your location as you want uh, by default in united states is selected no problem click next click continue the keyboard type okay the keyboard type american english and then click on continue Please enter the host name for the system. I want to give the host name IT system admin. Okay. And click continue. 
uh, you have to mention your domain name here but i don't have domain right now so i have to keep this option blank and click on continue full name for the new user okay you have to create a user account here when the, i am giving the user name mahmood okay next continue and the user name for the user account okay the same name here here you have to specify your login password okay i am giving my password and reconfirm password okay now click on continue and uh, now here you have to specify the time zone by default eastern is selected okay we will change it later click continue the partition type will be guided partition that means gpt okay by default gpt is selected and no need to change anything just click on continue it's showing the partition number is da okay no problem uh, click give continue and it will show you three options here like you can create partition separately for home partition and var or temp partitions okay i will keep all files in one partition okay i am selected it and this is recommended for new users okay click continue this is the partition scenario okay the hard disk name is sda and two partitions here and one is the format is ext4 and one swap partition i am finding here okay now what is swap i will tell you in another tutorial okay now click on continue write the change to this okay i want to write it click yes now click on continue installation process is continuing okay software selection no need to change anything here just keep all default settings click on continue install the grab bootloader to your primary device yes uh, yes is by default selected and we have to click on continue install the grab bootloader i have to select the dev sda and click continue now finishing the installation finish the installation installation has been completed now click on continue now rebooting the new operating system look your color linux is booting right now here you have to mention the user name and give the password here yes your kali linux installation is completed now you can work with your virtual box kali linux operating system
this is all for today hope this tutorial is helpful for you keep watching for next tutorial thank you very much